Hey everyone, so let's explore Adobe Express. Great tool to make presentations. Um, and once you get the hang of it, it goes pretty quickly and it's a lot of fun. So I've opened up Firefox. I'm just gonna type in Adobe Express. It'll take me to the first link of Adobe. Now, if you have a school account, then you can get this for free through your school account. Um, but let's just presume that you don't have a school account at the moment. You want to join the beta for free. This is the new Adobe Express beta version. There is an older version, but Adobe Express beta is actually much better. So I encourage all of us to use this one instead. The website has a fair amount of information, including tutorials. We're going to skip that for the moment, and I'm going to give you a very short tutorial just to get you started. First thing you're going to do, though, is join the free beta. And you'll click on join the free beta and you might see something like this where it says unsupported browser. So this tells me I can't use Firefox. <laughs> so I'm just going to copy the link and instead I'm going to open up Google Chrome. I'll just go in as guest mode and then I'm going to paste the link into Google Chrome. And now when I go here into Google Chrome, there is a sign in. If you've never signed in before or created an account, just click create an account. Really simple, easy to do, and it's all free at the moment. So I'm just going to use one of the accounts I've used before. Um, this is my Yahoo account. I do have another account, uh, which is through the school, but I'm not going to use that one. I'm just going to use this basic. So once you log in, this is the screen that you will typically see. There's a lot going on here. We're going to skip all this for the moment, but please feel free to take a look, explore this website as much as you can because there's a lot of really fun things that you can do here. I'm just going to come up here and click the plus sign. And now with the plus sign, I've got a few things that I can begin to create. What I want to do is create a video. And I'm going to use this video as just a simple introductory video for my drone class. It'll be real quick, real easy, but it'll probably be a lot of fun, hopefully, fingers crossed, for the students. So now I'm taken to this site where I can create my video. And the first thing I'm gonna do is click on media, and it's already clicked on. And you'll notice with media, I can add photos, video, audio. In this case, I'm just gonna click video. Even though I have my own videos that I can add to this video, I'm just gonna look here in their file cabinet, so to speak, and see what they have. And again, this is for a drone class, so I'm just gonna type in drone and see what videos are part of the library. And you can see that there's quite a few videos ranging in time. I'm gonna select this one, it's pretty, I've looked at it before. So I'm just gonna grab it and drag it into my timeline. Now, if I click on play, this is the video that's going to show. Now this video is 16 seconds long. Maybe it's a little bit too long. I can shorten it if I want. So I can just grab the slider, bring it back, and let's just make it 14 seconds instead. So it's a little bit shorter. Not a ton shorter, but enough. And now what I want to do is add some text to this video. So I can click here, add text. There's different generated text effects. I'm just going to click add your text. And here, I'm going to get my text window, and I'll just say, uh, welcome to, and let's say, drone technology and applications. This is the class that I'm building this for. Um, I don't like the color of the font. It blends in too much with this video. So what I can do is change the font, and I also... I, I don't like this either, the way the font is looking. I'm just going to click on dynamic. It makes it a little bit nicer, at least in my mind, um, but it's not quite spaced well. It's a little bit too big, the font. So I'm going to make it smaller by clicking this negative button. And I'm going to change the spacing. So I'll just come here and click return. And now I'm just going to drag the text. And this seems to fit pretty well. Welcome to Drone Technology and Applications. Again, I don't like the font cover. So where it says fill, I'm gonna click on it. And now I'm gonna click more colors. And let me just add like a yellowish hue, something like this. And we'll see what it looks like. 
right now it doesn't look like anything. There we go. Let me select it. <laughs> and then click more colors. And here we go. There it is. Um, so do I like this? And the answer is yeah, I like it a lot better than the black. So I'm going to go with this and I can click play here just to see what it looks like. So I've got welcome to drone technology and applications. The font for me is still a little bit on the boring side. So let's make this, how do we want to do this? I'm going to make this italicized. So welcome to drone technology and applications. I can even do an animation or a text effect. So I'm going to have welcome because I want it to loop in. And then you can just sort of drag over. You've got bungee, drift. I actually sort of like drift now that I look about it. Drop, fade, flicker, grow. Grow might work. Rise is interesting. Shrink. So these are all the different animations that you can have with text and it's sort of nice. I'm going to, for what I want to do, I'm going to stick with drift. So yeah, I'll stick with drift. <laughs> okay, so I'm done here. I can preview what I've done. Let me come back to start. And you'll notice now the drift comes in with the drone, which is sort of nice. I want to add some media to it, so I'll add some audio. And you've got some audio here that you can simply choose from. And if you want to hear it, you can just press the play. And then you get a preview of what it sounds like. I don't want blues, so I'm going to pass on that. Um, I want something sort of bold and almost in your face. And here's Epic from Film, which I like. So I'm just going to grab this. I'm going to drag it in the box. And now... Okay, I'm already liking this. So I've got my first scene down. I've got my drone flying in. I've got Welcome to Drone Technology and Applications. I'm going to add scene. And in this scene, I'm going to introduce myself. So I'm just going to add text and say, um, I'm Professor Ken Yano. Uh, the yellow here font is not going to work, so I'm going to click fill. I'm going to go back to black. Um, I'm fine with the italicize. I'm going to put this to the side here. I can do that. I'm going to actually make this a little bit smaller. I don't like the size of this font. It's too big. So I'm going to make it smaller, smaller. And now what I'd like to do is actually add a picture of me, because <laughs> why not? So I'm going to come back here to media photos and now I can upload from device um, I could select a picture here of course but I'm going to upload from device so it's of me I've got a picture of me in the downloads folder so open and it's going to pop up into the video so I'm going to put it here to the side and I'm going to size it appropriately there it goes and I'll just move on Professor Kenyano over. So, so far this is what we have. We've got a welcome video. We've got an introduction to me. And I'm going to add uh, one more scene, I think. I'm going to say something to the effect like I'm excited to take this journey with you. So I want some media. And I want a photo. And I want a photo of somebody excited, which will be me. Now, I've already used my face, so they've seen the front of my face, which means I need to pick a photo here where you can't see my face, but I'm excited. So I found this one. <laughs> so I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to drag it into my new scene. And here it is. And now let me add some text to it. And I'll just say, I'm excited to go on this journey with you. And, of course, I don't really like this text again in terms of the uh, black font. It's a little bit too dark and too deep. Um, I want to change the color. Something like this. See what this one looks like. It's okay. For our purposes now, this is fine. And what I'm going to do is actually make this animation text. And I want something to fly in. And I sort of like tumble just because it's fun. So I've got tumble and then finally I'm going to add one more scene and we'll take a look at what all this looks like in just a second of course. I'm going to add a scene, something to the effect of see you soon. Um, and let's go to media and let's see if there's see you soon. There's see you later. That's just photos. Let's go to video. 
So there is a 10 second video on see you soon. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but I'm just gonna drag it and drop it. Okay, and here it is. Here is my complete video. So let's play it and see what we have. Now, that's not bad. I sort of like this. Now, what else could you have done to this video? Well, we could have done audio instead. We could have recorded a voiceover, for example. So right here on this last slide, instead of having the music, I could have had a voiceover and I could have recorded a voiceover and saved it here. But for this video, I like what I have. So now that I'm done, the next step, of course, would be, well, let's share it. Remember, this is a beta version. If I click on share, um, the beta version of Adobe Express doesn't currently support sharing of this video on social media. So that's not gonna happen, although I could invite collaborators. I'm not gonna do that now, however. Rather, I'm just gonna click download. And for download, I'll just download an MP4, download this, and it's just going to save my download as processing it, and then it's gonna download it for me once I've got it downloaded, then I can upload it to my YouTube video or my YouTube channel, I should say. And once I have the YouTube, once it's in the YouTube channel, I can then just use a link and I can share that link with everybody, including students in my class, which makes it way easier than just trying to embed a video into a class that you've got on your computer. YouTube is really a, a good way to go. So I'll just save this as drone intro. It's gonna save in my downloads folder. We'll save it, and it's almost done. So here it is, let me open up my downloads folder and we'll open up this video. And here it is in big, in big. <laughs> All right, and that's my introductory video. And once again, what I would do is just go to my YouTube channel and upload it directly there. So I can show you how to do that really quickly. Um, let's say I go to, so if you don't have a YouTube channel, you really want to create one, I'm going to leave another short video um, in our course site, which shows you how to create a YouTube channel. All you need is a Google account. And once you have it, you can set up YouTube channel really nice to have. Okay, so I've got a couple of channels. I'm gonna select this one, my Gmail account, and let me sign in. And so now that I've signed into my Gmail account, I can click on the K here, which is me, go to my YouTube channel, and then manage videos. And then for manage videos, you're gonna have a link which says create. So I can just click the create, upload video. And now what I can do is just go here, drag it right inside the drag and drop area. Now I can add details to my YouTube video. It's going to give me a video link. And then this is what I can share uh, with my students, just the simple video link. I'm not going to fill in all the other playlist stuff. Um, we'll just keep this open for the moment. In terms of made for kids, always say no, it's not made for kids. Otherwise, it's a little bit of a headache. So you don't want to do that. Um, you can set up monetization <laughs> if you want to. I'm going to skip that, of course, for the moment. So my monetization will be off for this little video. And we'll click Next. Um, I don't need to add anything here. No music license, nothing. Click Next. No copyright issues are found. Click next, and now I'm gonna make this for public, why not? 
and click publish. And so now this YouTube video is going to get published. There is the link for it. So I can now share this link and I can also embed it into my course site if I'm doing this online. So once again, it's really easy to share everything that you do and every video that you make if you use a YouTube channel. Otherwise, you would have to be uploading actual MP4s to your course site. Okay, so that's it. That's how you create a short video using Adobe Express. Um, definitely, if you have the time, explore it, have fun with it. It really is a nice tool to use. Um, I've used Adobe Express a few different ways. Um, I've used the previous version of Adobe Express when it was called Adobe Spark, and I've got examples of that up on our course site. But this, you have a lot more power with Adobe Express Beta. So I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of the cool, fun stuff that you're all going to create for us. All right, take care, and I will see you in class. Bye-bye.